What's up, Guitar Geeks? Richie here again with another Line 6 Helix video. Uh, I got a question today on YouTube that blew my mind. It actually hurt my brain. Uh, so I tried to figure out how to do it. Here was the question. Can you use the Line 6 Helix to do four cable method with your amp? And if you're not sure what that is, that is, uh, I'll put a video link up here in the corner. Um, can you use it to do four cable method with your amp and send a separate out to the PA system uh, with a cabinet simulator on it, not using the amp? So in other words, this person wants to use their amp, their preamp in the chain, and use the amp on stage as a monitor, but not use, not have to mic up that amp, use cabinet simulation going straight to the PA, which I imagine would be a little cleaner sounding. So here's what I came up with. First, I'll play it for you. Here is just the amp in the room, and it's going to be picked up through this mic that I'm speaking into. <laughs> And now here it is going into the PA. Now I didn't bother trying to match these tones. That's something for you to go crazy with after you do this. But I'll show you how I did this and how you're going to have to do it um, if you want this to work. So here's the uh, Helix. I hope it looks okay to you guys. Um, here's what I came up with. So we're going to come out here from the guitar uh, input. And the first thing we do is we go to a distortion pedal. I use the Minotaur, and I assign that to this bypass switch, right? Okay, now, if you know anything about the uh, four cable method, uh, the next thing we did is we're going to the effects loop one. Uh, that's because I have my amps preamp looped into effects loop one. So that has to go there. Now, whoops, I have the split. So the split takes this line and splits it off into a secondary line. Now the way this defaults is that this eventually will join up over here again. But if you take this split point, right, and hit action and go up or down, see what it's doing? And we want it to go down so it creates its own output. Okay, so now what I have going on here, this top line represents the quarter inch output that is going back to the guitar amp, okay? So what happens here is I have an EQ uh, just to, you know, change any of the tonalities I'm, I don't really like about the amp itself. So that's my amp EQ. Um, then I have a delay. And then I have, just for this example, over here I have the amp mute, okay? That's just so I can turn it on and off and show you the difference, okay? You don't need to do this. Uh, down here, on the secondary line, I have my cabinet simulation. Uh, you can pick whatever you like. You can put an IR on here, uh, however you like to set it up. I have another EQ uh, just to balance out what I'm sending to the PA system. And I have a copy, an exact copy of this delay, okay? And I'll explain that in a second. And then over here last, I have a, a mute, a PA mute, again, just so you can hear what I'm doing. Okay, here's the important thing. Any effects you put after the split, you're going to have to duplicate. Now, there's another way to do this, and I'm going to show you what that sounds like and explain why I don't like that. Um, but any post effects that happen after this split, you're going to have to duplicate. Okay, so if you want a reverb or a chorus or a delay, you duplicate it. Uh, and to do that, it's very simple. You just hit action, copy block, then go down here and paste it down here. Now, to make this work, uh, the way you want it to work is you're going to have to assign both of these delays to the same foot switch. So watch what happens when I turn this off. See they birth to, how they both turn off? Um, so I'll turn everything on again. So here's with the delay. And without. So it doesn't really matter uh, with this because it's before the split, so one version will do, but after it has to be duplicated. It's very important to set each path to a separate output, so check it out. Okay, so right now I have them both on the same thing. Quarter inch output, no good. You want them to be different. So this can be quarter inch and this will go to the guitar amp, that's fine. But then when I come down here, let's change that to XLR. So now this is going to the PA, this is going to the guitar. You can make this anything. You can make this another one of the sends that you're not using. It really doesn't matter, but as long as it's separate from what you're using for your guitar amp. So to me, this yields the best results because you get cleaner sounding delays, cleaner sounding reverbs, and I like that. 
but the trade-off is you have to duplicate everything. You need two of each effect, which could be a pain. If you don't want to do that, there is another alternative. So here's what that is. So as you see here, I have the two delays. I don't want that. So let's get rid of that. I'm going to clear the second delay. That's gone. Now I'm going to move the split point to after the delay. All right. Um, another thing I'll do probably is take this EQ and also put it after the split point. Uh, this is because I don't want this to affect what the amp is hearing. And that's going to change the sound of things, but you'll have to adjust everything. All right, so here's the amp. Here's what the amp hears. All right, I'll mute the amp. And here's the PA. So it sounds a little darker because now the, the uh, delay is going through the cabinet simulation over there. Uh, but it's not a huge deal, and that makes life a lot easier. Uh, we still have a fair amount of independence. Um, I can move things around to make it a little neater. i put this here, put the split point all the way at the end. So now you have all this room to put, you know, maybe a delay, a, chor a reverb, a chorus, whatever you want, and it stays pretty consistent. Uh, any changes you make will go to both. And you still have the ability to put a little EQ, go into your amp, and separate EQ, or actually separate whatever you want going to the PA. Like, so for example, if the, the um, engineer is complaining about, you know, level spikes or whatever, you could throw a compressor on there or something. So that's how I would handle that. Hope you guys liked this video and I hope I answered your question. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for more good stuff. Thanks for watching this video. To see even more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to interact with me on social media, please follow my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. If you like podcasts, check out my show Band Geek on the Riotcast Network. For tour dates and even more info, go to richiecastellano.com. Now, here's a video I picked just for you. I think you'll like it. Go ahead, click it. It's good. Eh? Huh?